What we're going to do now is really look at the properties of projectile motion. Projectile motion. Um, so I'm just going to say the definition of these problems is that you launch uh, at theta above the horizontal. That's usually the angle they give you. How high do you launch a projectile at speed v naught? I'm going to call it v naught. And I'm going to put the bars and do the full formal mathematical notation. Remember, all this notation means is you're given initial velocity. The velocity is a vector, but they're just going to tell you the magnitude. And they are giving you an angle and a speed or a magnitude. So what coordinates are they giving you? Polar bear coordinates, right? You begin this problem in polar bear. So what we're going to do is think about it. So what it looks like, of course, we can get the gun back out. This is Texas after all, so we use guns to illustrate everything. So what it means is we're going to give the bullet an initial velocity at some angle, and it makes a trajectory kind of like that, right? Late? No. <laughs> Never be late to this. Okay. And if I give it a lower angle, right, it goes kind of a low trajectory like that. If I give it a high angle, up and down like that. All right, so that's what we're going to think about. And you can answer fun questions like, what angle will it go the farthest, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so let's draw it. First thing we do is draw it like this. So here is the ground. Uh, here I am. Let's see. So we're going to give the projectile an initial velocity uh, v naught. So one trick about notation and books and what we write is you can be real formal and write the vector with the hat on it and put the two bars, it means magnitude. Or you can also just write it and leave the vector hat off. That's a quicker way to mean magnitude, right? The bars and the arrow hat, it's a little bit cleaner. So if I write it without all that on it, I mean just the magnitude. Because it's a vector because I gave you the angle theta there. Right? So we got v naught and theta. And technically, uh, we should say that this is theta naught. Right? Because as the thing goes through this trajectory, the, the angle theta is going to change. Really, if you think about it, it's going to go up and down and positive and negative, And that's something you'll have to calculate. Then it's going to fly up. And I'll draw the parabolic trajectory. And if you're really with it, you know that the parabolic trajectory has to follow below that vector. But if you draw it wrong, that's OK. So it goes something like that. And let's pick a point. Let's pick the peak here. I should have drawn this bigger. So get out your uh, opera glasses here. Let's pick the peak and let's draw some vectors to practice identifying vectors in kinematics problems. OK, so I told you last time, velocity vector you can draw anywhere you want. So the velocity here, maybe you can intuit that it's this way. Because remember, velocity is always along the trajectory. right? It's tangent to the trajectory. So this would be the v. I'll put a vector hat on it because it's a vector now, and not v naught because v naught's the initial. right? This is how it's moving later. Um, could put the acceleration on it. right? Acceleration is down, because it's a free thing moving uh, near the Earth. So there's A. We know it's down 9.8 meters per second squared. And the maybe trickier one is I could put the position vector on it. Right? Position, we can't just draw wherever we want, because it's always implied in your drawing that this is an xy coordinate system. Right? Here's y, here's x, because you're drawing in the real world. This isn't some art class where you have like a color space and velocity directions. No. This is a real world drawing. Here's x, here's y. Therefore, this is the origin. Therefore, r at that point looks like this. Okay. That's the only one you have to draw right there. So as it goes through the trajectory, v kind of aims with the path. A is down the whole time. And r is from the origin to the path the whole time. So in some other video class, they can make a video of it. Okay. So uh, what we want to calculate, the three main things you calculate for uh, a projectile is how far does it go. That's the military part. And then how long is it in the air? Right, That's the whatever, physics, homework part. And of course, how high does it go? So we're going to drive those three just for practice thinking about kinematics. and. Uh, they're sort of equations that you're going to need. Maybe even on the MCAT, I would say you don't derive or you don't memorize them. I'd say derive them every time. 
because you're going to see they're a little bit, there's three, and they're almost the same, so they're really hard to distinguish in your head. And I know y'all are bioscience and good at memorizing things, but still. Let's be sure you follow the derivation. So in a pinch, you could derive them if you needed to. Okay, okay so let's see. We're going to say um, the hang time is one of these. So sports analogy, I apologize. Hang time is the time in the air. And it's set by... What do you think it's set by? Think about it in your head for a second. We'll see if you're right. It's set by the Y motion, right? How long it's in the air, we're going to look at Y. And it basically depends on what your initial velocity Y component and what your acceleration coming down. And that's how long it's in the air, right? So it's set by Y. All right. Uh, let's look at this. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit quickie version here. Let's look at it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's look at just the uh, up. Let's calculate T up, okay? How long does it take it to get from here to here? Because if you look at that and think about what you've got and what you need and what you know, um, there's a quick way to do that. You know it has an initial velocity, V naught, uh-oh, which component, let's see, V naught is Vx plus Vy, it's this side, sine theta, right? Uh, v initial, is v naught sine theta. You also know it's sine theta because of v initial y, I'll say, v i y. You also know it's sine theta because this is the standard definition of theta, right? It's counterclockwise from the horizontal axis. So instead of having to think about SOHCAHTOA, you could also just use the standard formula because it's following the standard rules, okay? I am determined to see my text this time, but oh my god, here we go. Just a couple, what is r? r is the position vector theta for the position vector r is different than theta for the initial velocity vector r. Yeah, yeah. there's thetas all over the place. The only theta we've defined so far is theta naught. We will define them as we go. La la la. There's one more right there. I'm not used to calling that theta naught. Okay, um, so we have uh, the initial velocity up is v i, is v naught sine theta naught. So all we gotta think about is how it's gonna evolve in time. So constant acceleration kinematics, remember that uh, V final equals V initial plus acceleration times time. So that's what we're going to use. Because we're trying to find the time. We know the acceleration. We know VI, but we don't know VF. Yeah, oh, yeah, we do. It stops, right? We're trying to find the halfway. So one thing, you can do everything purely by kinematics, but if you kind of realize a uniform trajectory is kind of uh, symmetric, it's a lot easier, okay? So uniform trajectory, it starts at V naught, starts at theta naught, it goes through this symmetric parabolic path, and it lands with an angle that's kind of down at the same angle. It's got the same x component and just a negative y component. If it's a uniform trajectory, that means it started and ended at the same height. Okay? We'll do uneven trajectories later. This is even. Okay? See, uneven is a harder thing we're going to do in a little bit. Okay, so this is on the way up. So we say VF final equals V initial is uh, V naught sine theta naught, that's that component, uh, plus the acceleration times time. So to help with negative signs, I'm going to start writing like this. Plus, the acceleration is negative 9.8, okay? A is equal to negative, and then the number G, because we define positive is up, acceleration is down. So we put in negative 9.8 T, like that. This is not a numerical one, right? Yeah. Okay. So we solve for that, and that's not the hang time yet, that's t up. So t up is, uh, this comes over here and becomes positive, and I'm actually going to go back to calling this g. I forgot we're doing a symbolic prob problem here. v naught sine theta naught over g. All right. That's how long it takes to go up. And now, t down. There's two ways you could get the time down. You could say, well, I'm dropping something from this height. I don't know what that height is yet. So you go solve for the height. And then you figure out the time down. Or you can just say, Hafner said it's symmetric, so it's the same. Right? So for now, just trust me. I don't want to do the kinematics like five times, because we're going to get the height another way. Okay? So I would say, just say same. Because I'm promising you, if you launch something, v naught, theta naught, and you ask when it hits the same height, and it just has acceleration down, the time to here will be the same as the time to here, the Vx will be constant, the Vy will switch. It all kind of makes sense that way. 
So think about it symmetrically. You have to get used to thinking symmetrically. So t down is the same, therefore t hang is just two times that. Right? Two v naught sine theta naught over g. And the only way that will be different from what you might see in other books is they won't put theta naught. There'll only be one theta in the problem. But this being where it is, we will, of course, ask you other thetas, okay? <laughs> just to make life difficult, right? How did you get from zero V sine theta to negative of T to T up? So where did this come from? This is just a standard uh, kinematics equation, and V final is zero. When it's at the top, what's its Y velocity? Zero. Look, here's its velocity vector. It's all X component. It's no Y component. So that's zero, that's V initial, and that's minus 9.8 T. Okay. okay. So that is the hang time, right? So any projectile, you could calculate the hang time if you pretend that there's no air resistance and blah, 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 blah. 